In this video, we're going to show how to update the F-16 V-2 or the F-16 V-2R, also the F-4 V-2 when it comes out in the next week, using the USB software or the Windows USB software and a USB cable. The first thing you do is you go to the Pixel Controller website, the store, and you just want to pick on one of the controllers web page and at the bottom of the page there will be a couple downloads. The first download that will download is the actual programmer utility and sometimes you get to because it's not digitally signed yet you'll get this warning saying that it's a you know could be dangerous. We're going to click the little arrow here on the side and we're going to hit keep and then once it's downloaded we'll click on it to open it up. It opens up we will click on either of the files um, we'll click on the setup file this time. Um, we want to say go ahead and run and we just walk ourselves through. I like to put everything on the E drive um, but you can just use the default path. It goes ahead and it installs it. I think there's one more OK screen that comes up and we hit yes and it goes ahead and installs it and we hit close. The best way to find it is to hit the start button and then just start to type in Falcon and it'll come right up. Oh, wrong Falcon software. Actually I think it's, it comes up as F16. Here we go. F16 V2 firmware programmer. And right now you'll have this window that says not connected to Falcon F16 V2. And if we could turn your attention here to the video, um, what we're going to do is we're going to have, I have power right here on this little plug. just makes it easier for me to unplug and plug things in rather than using the big connectors. You're going to connect your USB cable to your computer. This USB cable needs to be a data cable, not just a power cable. Most phone cables are data and power. And this is the one that comes from my HTC phone. You can see a little tag right there. And you plug that into your computer on that USB port. And then as we apply power, I'm going to go ahead and apply power just to one of these ports right here. Um, you can just apply power by plugging in your power supply or however else you turn your controllers on. You want to hold down the boot button, which is this button right here. And that will put it in bootloader mode as you power it up. So we're going to press that down and we're going to apply power. And if everything went well and it's in bootloader mode, you'll see not only will you hear Windows with a couple sounds tell you that a USB device has been connected, but you will also see these two lights right here blinking in unison with each other. And then you know that it's in bootloader mode. Notice that the user interface now allows you to select a, a program to use um, or a file to use to program it. So we're going to choose the file and go ahead and, um, well, I guess before we choose the file, it's best to download the file. So back on the uh, screen for the pixelcontroller.com's page of the controller, right next to the download, you have another download here, which is the actual firmware. And right now we're on point oh eight, um, version point oh eight, but that should increase as we add new things. So we're going to download, downloads the file, and it's right there in my downloads. Um, so if I come up over to the program, let's bring back the video, and I choose file, go to my downloads, turn here somewhere, you'll see that the file is right here, and they look both the same. Looks like I'll pick the one that I just downloaded. Hit open, it opens it, and then we're just going to hit the update button. And it'll go ahead and send the FPGA file. It has to send two files over. So it's going to send the FPGA file over. And that one goes pretty quick. And you see that the lights are still blinking on the controller. And then that's done. And now it's going to send over the actual firmware file for the controller itself and it starts that. Now this one takes a little bit longer um, to do. The main thing on this to pay attention to is during this whole time that it's uploading the file, 
make sure that those two lights on the controller are still blinking in unison and that they do not stop blinking. I have seen several, um, I wouldn't say several, but a few controllers, you know, out of the hundreds that we've dealt with that um, actually the file doesn't come over correctly, but those lights stop blinking and that's a good indicator that something went wrong is that those lights will stop blinking in unison. So as it's sending the file over, just make sure that, you know, that it stays blinking in unison until it is done with. If they ever stop or lock up, then you know that something has failed and begin the process over again, starting from scratch. If you do plug in the controller into the USB powered up with the boot button down and the two lights blink in unison, but your computer still doesn't recognize that it's connected, um, then try a different cable or possibly a different um, port. Uh, we have seen on one computer that it did not like to be connected to the USB 3.0 ports and it had to be connected to a 2.0 port. Um, most of the time it's the wire. We might start shipping wires, but with the new controllers that have the ability now to connect through the network, which we will have a video showing that process, um, it's almost become an obsolete. Um, so I'm showing you how to connect and program last year's version of the F16 V2, um, but this year's version, the F16 V2R, is identically the same as far as USB goes. And you can see we're approaching the end of the upload. And the lights are still blinking in unison. And it takes a couple of minutes. It's best that you don't walk away though, so you could just tell the progress of it and make sure that the lights are still blinking. And it's getting to the end. And then it says it's done. And the lights go solid. Now what you need to do is you need to unplug the controller. Plug it back in. And if everything went well, you'll see the logo. And when it comes up, the OLED display will show the new version number, which in this case is version 1.08. And that concludes the tutorial on how to update the uh, controller through the USB.